waters around Goldman Sachs just got a little murkier, frankly, because they've allegedly been subpoenaed by the Manhattan District Attorney. This is the latest blow to the investment bank in what has been the uncovering as to whether or not they had any wrongdoings in the financial crisis. It had significant criticism after shorting the mortgage market before it collapsed. And frankly, that was a problem for a lot of people. Allegedly, it made billions of dollars at the expense of some of its clients. Several ongoing investigations into the Goldman Sachs role into this financial crisis have, have continued. Previous re reports indicate that Goldman Sachs may have misled clients about its doings and, and whether or not it had practices related to the mortgage-linked securities and whether or not they were investing on behalf of clients and actually shorting of the market. What's interesting is that Goldman has not at this point commented but notes that subpoenas, frankly, they're a part of the normal discovery process. So that is not an increment against Goldman Sachs. Again, subpoenas are a normal part of the discovery process in any legal case. The investment bank hasn't actually been accused of any wrongdoing. But interestingly, in a congressional report, Goldman Sachs allegedly used the phrase net short in more than 3,000 documents. So that in and of itself could be incriminating. A letter from Goldman Sachs to the SEC says that we, quote, maintained a net short subprime position and therefore stood to benefit from declining prices in the mortgage market. That in and of itself, we don't know if that's going to be used as evidence or not, but it could be, as I said, incriminated against Goldman Sachs. It does indicate that Goldman was betting against the interests of its clients. Therefore, shares of Goldman Sachs have been lower on uh, today's news in light of the subpoena. Right now, they're down about uh, one and a third percent, trading about 134. If you look at the stock back in January, it was at 170. For CNN Money, I'm Felicia Taylor at the New York Stock Exchange.